Let's say you're interested in potentially buying a stock. How do you know if it's a good buy at the current stock price? One helpful tool here is to look at valuation multiples. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to access valuation multiples on 100,000 plus stocks globally on ticker.com. So as always, first you can use the search bar at the top to pull up the relevant ticker. So let's say we want to look at Facebook and then we can click on valuation to pull up the valuation multiples. So here you can see we have a number of multiples available for this company. We have forward multiples as well as trailing multiples. So forward multiples are based on forward metrics, which means that in the denominator here, we're using a forecasted estimate from Wall Street analysts. And so this is a next 12 months or NTM estimate here in the denominator. A number of multiples here again on the forward side, we have EV revenues, price to sales, EV EBITDA, EV EBIT, and of course the famous PE multiple or price normalized earnings here, market cap to free cash flow and levered free cash flow yield. You can look at the orange bubble here to pull up the relevant definition for the metric that you're looking at. We also have trailing multiples. So this is based off the denominator being an actually reported historical metric. So here we look at LTM or last 12 months in the denominator. So this would be last 12 months actually reported revenues in the denominator for EV revenues. Again, we have price sales, uh, EV to gross profit, EV EBITDA, EV EBIT, PE. We have price of book value, price of tangible book value, LTM, uh, EV to unlevered free cash flow and market cap to levered free cash flow. So again, a number of metrics here. You can also look at the underlying metrics that go into building this multiple. So the price factors, the forward factors and the trailing factors, if you wanted to disaggregate the different multiples and look at the individual factors here. So when you're looking at multiples, there's generally two methods that people use multiples to think about valuation. The first is to compare the current multiple of the company to that of its own history, so its own historical multiples. And the second method is to look at the current multiple of the company and compare it to that of its peers or its competitors, to put it into context. And you can do both of these things on ticker. So the first method is to, again, look at the current multiple relative to the company's own historical multiple. And you can do that here by dragging the orange dot on the timeline if you prefer to look at it in table form and again, look at the historical multiples. Or I think the easier way to do this is to click on these rows to build a graph and therefore visualize the data. So here we have the PE multiple for Facebook over time. And you can see this is over a one year period. Let's say we wanna look at it over a three year period. So the average three year PE multiple was around 25 times. The high was around 34 times, the low was around 15 times, which is close to where the last close PE multiple for Facebook was. So we can see currently Facebook is trading near its three-year lows. And if we look at this over a five-year time frame, we can see it's fairly similar um, to the three-year average multiple here as well. So based off this chart, it looks like Facebook could potentially be an interesting investment. You can also compare this to other companies. So let's say we wanna compare it to Google here. We can easily add Google's PE multiple to the uh, chart here as well. So the next tab over is street targets. So here we can see the Wall Street street price target. So this is the average stock price, target stock price that Wall Street analysts have, the median high and low, as well as the number of estimates that went into that target stock price, which is about 50 analysts. So roughly 50 Wall Street analysts cover Facebook, and this is the average target stock price relative to the last uh, closed stock price here of 192. You can also see the stock recommendations, number of buys, outperforms, holds, so on and so forth, and the target stock price relative to the last closed price. You can see that the Wall Street analysts think that there's still 70% upside relative to the last close price here. But again, you should always do your own diligence. And finally, the second method, as I mentioned, was to compare the multiple of your target company to that of its peers or its competitors. And so here, we automatically pull in potential competitors and peers to your target company. So again, the target company here is Facebook. We pull in potential peers uh, in the industry here. So there's Snapchat, Tencent, Twitter, 
Pinterest, so on and so forth. And if you wanna customize this and create your own comps table, you can click on these hearts to add it to your own watch list. And the other helpful thing here is on the bottom, we have a summary statistics table, which shows the mean, median, high, low uh, for the companies in this list. So again, you can easily compare Facebook's multiple to that of the average, the median, the high, and the low of the peer group in the table here. And as always, you know, we cover stocks around the world and so if you want to look at a company for example based in china so let's look at tencent here you can easily pull up the valuation metrics for tencent as well so if we go back to multiples here you know we have all these multiples for tencent as well and again we cover a hundred thousand plus stocks globally so that's it for this video as always if you have any questions please reach out to us at support at ticker.com